so you guys this is a this is a pet food review video of all the pet food that i've used generally recently i had a very bad experience with a whiskas wet feed batch of food and uh, uh, on sat on Saturday night, I had put uh, Moro a brand new packet of uh, Whiskas pet wet feed, and she did not eat it until s Sunday evening, 7 p.m. And I was like, that was uh, an unusually long time for her to not eat her feed. I wonder what the problem is. But anyway, I didn't realize it at that time but I was refilling her bowl on Sunday evening at 7 p.m. when I when I noticed worms. There was worms in the in the dish. They were super tiny white worms. And the expiration on these bags was till 2021 and they were already bad, which has led me to sort of really uh, kind of like make a video about this topic. I mean, I just want to talk about all the pet food brands that are out there, like that I have used. And uh, and the second problem the thing that I've noticed with is Royal Canine. Royal Canine, as everybody knows, is like a super expensive brand. It is three times the price of any other brand in the market. And you would think that pets should go nuts about it when you give them. And I have had three cats Till now I have had bad cat I have had kitu and I have had moro and not one of them show any kind of preference for it not once have I noticed my cats being like we would rather eat royal canine over any other brand and recently I had been trying out the origin dry cat and kitten feed and my cat was taking to them so I decided to make a switch from the trial packets to the 1.8 kg bag and you would not believe the quality of the 1.8 kg bag was completely different from the trial packets. It, it did not look at all the same and which has just led me to think that like what is the deal with all pet food brands out there. I don't know whether if pets would rather eat human food over cat food and pet food or not. But the simple question that comes to in my mind is that when I look at pet food and I think would I rather eat pet food over human food? And the clear answer to anybody who asks themselves this question is that they would not even dream of eating pet food over human food which basically to me it just sums up the grade and the quality of pet food that is out there in the in the stores and it is not up to par it is not good enough it is just trash and uh, as a pet owner i would just uh, think that it is better if you can personally cook up something in your kitchen for your pets rather than buy store-bought brands of food except that vegetarians can find that a bit challenging and uh, I myself am a vegetarian and cats are not vegetarians and so the question sort of like ends up over there